Hello guys, it's your tech informant here. I know you're surprised to see me inside the car. Yeah, I'm going out with a friend, a young friend that wants to buy a laptop. So we're going to Ikeja Computer Village. It is one of the largest computer markets in Nigeria or West Africa. So he says he wants to upgrade from his first generation called i7 to a more recent generation. So I would like you guys to join us as we enjoy the ride to Ikeja and back. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. See boy, how far? I'm fine, thank you. We are ready for the journey, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with my own, it's just that it's slow when it comes to running big tasks. Okay, what kind of tasks do you use this for? I, I do mobile development, so it's always kind of, especially when I'm trying to run it in real time, mm -hmm. so it's also it over heat. Okay, so I decided to upgrade and it gets even something faster that runs on SSD memory like that. So. What uh, configuration are you looking at? Yeah, I'm looking at um, 8 to 16 gig of RAM and yeah, then i5, i7 if possible. Yeah, i7, better but i5, let's say i5 and then we got 7 gen, 8 gen. I'm not go for 10 to gen. 10 gen, yeah. I will go for 10 gen. But it's more expensive, <laughs> so I've got my coat according to my size. <laughs> okay, when well, well, we get to Ikeja, we will we, you know, check one or two shops and then compare the spec they have, how neat the laptop is, and then if it fits your budget. We have two major markets, like computer market or where you can get computers. We have the Alaba and the Kedja. One thing I like about the Kedja is that when you get there, you have a sorted. Yeah. But you get laptops cheaper at Alaba. But the Kedja, you can have many options, but it's somehow on the high side. Yeah. So what we are trying to do now is to go to Kedja, check the options they have, the prices. Then maybe if it's beyond your budget, you cannot go to Alaba and then get something. That's what they have there today. You cannot compare now, make your decision. Yeah. 
because getting a laptop is not something, especially if you are buying this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not something, not something you just go to the market and rush and buy. But if you are buying new one already, you go online, check the spec, you know the, the price, then you just go to the shop and get it. But use one, you need to make some research. How much is that? No, is that three? Two hundred. Yeah. Now I tell you what we're at, man. Over three hours in the traffic, we are now here at Ikeja, and you can even see Tochuku is already he slept so much in the traffic. So that's Lagos for you. Ah. So we eventually got to the Komta village at Ikeja after spending over two hours in traffic along the Ikeja Airport Road. This trip on a good day shouldn't take up to 30 minutes, but it took us over three hours to get to the Komta village. We were exhausted and I almost decided to suspend the recording but somehow I resumed and I wasn't comfortable recording myself in a public space. So I wonder how these vloggers do their thing. If a vlogger here, is this what you guys go through when recording your videos? Please let me know in the comments. I managed to pull up my phone once or twice again and decided to do the rest inside the shops. More so the weather was caution. So, we couldn't check as many shops as we intended. We visited two shops and got a better offer from one of them. This is the first shop we entered and they have a good number of HP laptops here. We checked a couple of them like this one which is an airlight book with an 8th generation intel core i5 processor 8 gig ram 256 ssd it has a slick design with a premium sound by bank and all of sync and comes with windows 11 pre-installed we didn't go for this particular laptop because the offer was on the high side So we check another shop and found HP's flagship laptop, the Spectra, with the same configuration as the laptop we saw in the former shop. And the stereo is on a whole new level and it is also foldable. With a well protected touchscreen edge, it goes for 320,000 Naira which is about $570. That was way beyond T-Boy's budget. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you are new here, please do subscribe to join our community. We settled for this HP Elite book with a 7th generation Intel Core i5 processor with 16GB RAM and 512 SSD. With a touch screen, this laptop goes for 260,000 Naira which is about $450. So let me know in the comments if this offer was good. This laptop is suitable for computer programming and of course you can use it to edit videos, just editing basic videos like non-complex YouTube videos. I love this laptop's modern design with a metallic-like exterior and it was neatly used. 
and finally we returned without turning on the camera because I was totally exhausted. I believe this vlog wasn't fantastic but informative. As I make more of this type of content, I'm sure that there will be lots of improvements. By the way, I shot this phone with my phone's camera. Was the video and sound quality acceptable? I need your feedback and I will share the phone's type and model in the comments. Thanks for taking your time to watch this video. See you in the next one.